We're joined by two amazing, phenomenal women, all the way from the University of Cape Town. We've got Dr. Pickering alongside with a PhD student, Unoma Wei. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Thank you for Thanks having for us. Having us. It's an honor having you in the show. She's very excited about you guys. <laughs> We're like, yeah. We have two incredible women on the show. Let's talk about the Human Evolution Research Institute, which is part of UCT. When was it founded? So our Human Evolution Research Institute, which we call HERI for short, was started by the really amazing Professor Becky Ackerman at UCT in 2015. And she wanted to um, kind of bring a central focus, a kind of center of mass to UCT for human evolution. There were quite a few people doing things, but to bring everyone together in one place and yeah. to form an institute. Wow. And what, are, what were some of the barriers to entry to create an institute like this? Um, yeah, I guess the kind of barriers, but particularly our students face, is that um, while there's some funding support for people to come to university, it's still expensive. The full cost of attendance yeah. is a lot of money, and living in Cape Town is expensive, and that's still an issue that faces many of our students. Amazing. You, you brought alongside Unoma Wei, who is a PhD student at the University of Cape Town. Tell us, what are you studying? I am studying the actual fossil bones, fossil yeah. remains um, of our cousin, of our ancestors. Yeah. So I'm in the lab looking at bones every single day, lit literally analyzing for variation and differences that we can find in the fossil hominin record. Wow, you're doing your PhD and you are the only black South African woman who's currently focusing on that, if I'm correct. That is correct. Yeah. Yes. Why Amazing. this career path? By the career path, um, I've always been interested in history. I've always yeah. loved our past, um, and in order to generate my love for biochemistry and you know our history, I combine both archaeology and biochemistry together to focus on studying the differences in fossil remains as we are today. And how did you become part of the institution? And what support have you received? I became part of um, Harry through UCT in itself, and since my supervisor is Professor Ackerman, oh, okay. um, she was the one who inspired me to get into human evolution and actually pursue this career path. So um, coming into Harry was actually so awesome, and um, I had funding from NRF, from past Center of Excellence um, in the university itself. Um, Harry has been a huge community, um, a huge help. The girls, everyone who's part of Harry have really just helped me out as well um, as my supervisor and my co-supervisors. It's been a great experience. Yeah, I like when you say the girls have mm. been very helpful. It's good, to, um, it's good to see women coming together and supporting each other. Let's talk about paleoanthropology in South Africa. It's mostly um, dominated by white men who are not even South African. Why is that happening? Yeah, so this is a question which there's no kind of straightforward answer to. And it's basically looking, I mean, um, science, as, as you were saying earlier, um, only 39% of scientists in South Africa are women. So that kind of explains why the field is dominated by men. Mm. And it's also just that question of the history of South Africa, which we're all familiar with, and kind of access to education and access to these kind of positions of controlling the um, kind of research space. Yeah. So in human evolution, particularly in South Africa, the famous paleoanthropologist, the kind of face of the discipline, has always historically been white men. And with the exception of Professor Philip Tobias from WITS, they've all been foreign white men wow. as well. Yeah. So this is something which at UCT, with Harry, we're really passionate and excited about changing, literally changing the face. Yeah. How are you guys going about changing that? I mean, like you're situated in one of the leading universities in Africa. How are you guys go about changing that, um, that thing of white men dominating, not even South African? How are you guys going about changing? Yeah, so we have a number of different strategies. Our institute has just been awarded a big um, grant by the university as part of their Advancing Women campaign. And so with this, we have funding for um, black women to come to UCT and to study for their PhDs. And we also have a program where we're working with the undergraduate women to give them just a kind of more positive experience of this research to hopefully keep them and train them up to be the next generation. So I know you said that there's support for PhD students and undergrads. 
And what about kids in high school? How could they get involved and how, how do they ensure that they have a place in the institution? So this is something we're also very aware of. This is how our real future students are at high school now. So UCT has a number of initiatives. There's um, Open Day, there's Science Week. Yeah. And as our institute, we're also working with the Iziko Museum for a new exhibit on human evolution, yeah. which is specially aimed at high school students yeah. because the you know the next great paleoanthropologist is probably sitting in high school right now and yeah. watching and this watching program. this fantastic program. definitely you've joined the, the, the institute and you your, your career path is you're one of the few young black South Africans that are, are taking this career path what are some of the changes would you like to see happening benefiting young people Firstly, I would like to say that we've come so far um, in trying to address these issues, and I'd like to commend Harry and UCT for addressing the inclusion, diversity, and transformation. But I, what I really want to um, also, the immediate issues that need to be addressed is racism in the discipline, yeah. um, decolonizing the sciences, sexual harassment in the field, and the list goes on and on and on. So we have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Um, but these are some of the things that have you know, come through and we strategize, we've been talking about it, and we are taking into action. Yeah. You are still at, I, I assume that you're so busy with your research. You, you're probably going to conclude sooner or later. Let's talk about some of the interesting things that you've learned so far and some of the interesting findings that you've found so far in the journey of your research. Well, Where to start? <laughs> oh, tell us what your focus is, what's your focus in your current My PhD? focus right now is, again, differences in fossils. Yeah, in fossils. Um, so I use something called proteomics, which is biotechnology, and I infuse it with, infuse it with archaeology so we can find different dietary aspects of different fossils and where they lived in the United States were all across Africa. So we really want to focus really in zooming on the diets of different species that were around in Africa millions of years ago. Wow, I love education. Which year of PhD are you in? This is my second year. Wow, that, is that, means, that means you're almost there. Almost. And Doctor, for, for, uh, what would you say to young girls who would love to be part of the science world? What is it that keeps girls <coughs> from being scientists? What would you say are the main issues that we face in the country? Because obviously, there's something good we're doing when it comes to men, because there's so many boys being scientists. Mm. What is it about young girls not going to this world? Um, yeah, this is a, a very good question. And I, I think, um, yeah, girls can do anything. As you said, you yeah. know, girls can rule the world. And um, most little girls are very interested in the natural sciences and believe they can do anything. And it's often people's experiences through high school that they kind of begin to change their mind about what girls can do. Yeah. So my message to the girls would be like, you can do anything. Yeah. And you work hard at school, do the best that you can, and come and join us, come and study the sciences at UCT. We're waiting. Yeah, they're, they're waiting for you. And no matter where to, who has been your inspiration? Like, why did you decide that this is what you want to do? My supervisor, um, she was the one who inspired me to do human evolution. Um, I really admired how she would teach about our ancestors with such grace, mm. um, such poise, and was just delivering it with, with ease. And I really wanted to know about our past even more and more. I was so intrigued. Mm. So I would say Professor Ackerman is a really great inspiration. Um, and getting me into this field. You are an inspiration right now to the young girl watching the show. What would you say to the young black girl living in a disadvantaged area, wanting to become a scientist? What would you say to that girl? As Robin said, um, you can do whatever you can if you set your mind to it. Um, yeah. You don't actually need to be in the sciences. You don't. You can be in the humanities, and you can combine it with archaeology. So that one thing needs to, you know, go away. And the fact that you don't need A's and B's, you can still do it if you want to a career in sciences yeah. and in archaeology. Yeah. Quickly, um, do you guys have any exhibitions that you guys are currently running for high schools? And which high schools are you, are you working with? If you do. Um, yeah, at the moment we've just kind of relaunched our institute and are busy kind of putting things together. But there is um, Science Week coming up at UCT, which engages a lot with. When is that happening? 
In August. In August. <laughs> wow, Women's Month. Guys, thank you so much for the honor having you on the show. Keep doing the great work that you guys are doing. Yeah. Well, if you are a young girl around Cape Town, around South Africa, and you are into the world of science, Science Week is coming up soon at the University of Cape Town. Hopefully, we're going to give you more details as the show goes by closer to the date. But right now, we're going to take a quick breather. More to come right here on the show. Awesome.